Hey guys, it's your girl Krista. Thank you for tuning in to Curse the Fig. Now, I want to know today, how was your day? Now, I'm going to tell you, today was a blessing. I can speak for myself. And you should be saying the same thing. Because you know what? The Lord is good and His mercy endure forever. You know, every time the Lord gives you a chance to breathe, it's a chance for you to to fulfill destiny it's a chance for you to make a difference in someone else's life it's a chance for you to also guess what please the lord because we want to constantly please the lord in everything that we do now i just want to tell you about my day you know i would have to say you know definitely with my day um with um the calories definitely i was within the calorie count you know the lord's been my strength definitely this has been a great journey um some days there's a little bit um you know a little some days are a little tougher than others but guess what guys the commitment and the lord knowing my desire he helps me through it and i'm going to tell you something else and if you don't have workout buddies it's a good thing to do have some accountable partners Get you some accountable partners. You know, don't set yourself up to, to fail. You know, set yourself up to um, win. Even if you have to post with me and let me know. Hey, Krista, you know, this is where I'm at. You know, this is how much I weigh. This is what I ate today. You know, even if you want to shoot it to me in the morning. You know, when I do my video, definitely I'll give you a shout out. But, you know, I want to, you know, I want to join this journey with you. Because, you know what? I know there's a lot of people out there. That's doing a lot of great, wonderful things for the Lord. You know, they're fulfilling destiny. They're understanding that God has a purpose for their life. And they're like, you know what? But I got to get this weight off. I got to get healthy. And um, it's just been a struggle. And I'm going to tell you, I'm here for you. I'm going to pray with you. Not only that, send me a shout out. You know what? I want to help you get there in Jesus name, you know, because I have a other, some other people that's walking with me with this, you know, I thank God for them, you know, and, um, you got to do the same thing, you know? And like I said, if you don't have that, you got me, you know? So I just want to kind of just go over a couple of different things, you know, know what's in your diet, you know, know what you're putting in and what you're putting out. And that and that also goes with your spiritual food. Because you know what? Just like your physical food, if you are eating junk all the time, guess what? You're not going to want solid, healthy, lean food. Not only that, it's going to be also um, a little difficult for you to have a, a wonderful, or I should say, uh... A really good workout because of the things that you've been eating so it goes the same way with your spiritual food if you're if you're constantly listening to just music all the time and then depending on what kind of music you're listening to even if it is worship music um, that's you know it's that's not enough if you're looking to do something big and especially if the Lord's giving it to you, it's all big because he given it, he's given it to you. You want to, it's going to take some sacrifice. It's going to take some commitment. So I just want to encourage you today that you can do it. You can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthen you. But first, it starts with a couple things. One, it starts with putting God first. Second, it starts with abiding in the Lord. What is abiding, Krista? Okay, when we abide in the Lord, what are we doing? We're getting to know Him. Just like you get to know a relationship with somebody, you know who you can depend on. You depend on this person so much in the event if you were to fall there, to stare, they will catch you and you have no doubt. So let's get to the Word because you know what? One thing I like is this. You don't tell people opinions. You don't tell. We're not. You know. We're we're not. We're. I don't work things like a secular motivator. You know. I'm 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 a faith believer. I believe in the word. I walk in the word. So guess what? I'm gonna give you the word. So let's turn into John 15 and one, and let's just get right into it. Let's know what the word of God says. Now, um, John 15 and one says, "I am the true vine." My father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. 
that it might bring forth more fruit. You know, guys, I'm going to go back to verse 1. It says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. Then let's go back to them and move on to verse 2. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it out, that it may bring forth more fruit. Guys, it says the Lord is the husband man. Which is, it means he's the dresser. Are we allowing the Lord to dress us today? Or are we doing it our own way? Are we allowing the Lord to purge us? Or are we doing it our own way by leaning to our own understanding and says and saying things like, oh, I'm saved by grace or oh, don't judge me. Guys, it's time to step it up. You know, we got to desire, we got to desire the word. We got to desire that milk. I mean, excuse me, that meat. You know, that sincere word, you know, because we're, we're, we're growing and you want to continue to grow, 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 grow and grow strong and, and not be deformed. So I, I challenge you today. Look, take an evaluation, take inventory so you can have incre increase like I stated before. Take inventory of what you're doing, what you're doing. Because if you're finding yourself repeating your past, that means there's a repetitive, something's repetitive going on. Are you allowing the Lord to dress you? Next. Um, are you, do you, do you understand, are you understanding what the Lord has for you? And that goes again back to abiding because we'll understand what the Lord has for us when we understand who we're serving. Because the more you abide in him, you'll see the greatness of the Lord. You'll see his greatness. You'll see that he's a big, big God. And when we when we under when we get that revelation, man, that's restoration. When we get it, it might sound kind of, you know, a little cliche is, but it's true. And then once we get an understanding of that, we can we can go forward and press forward. Okay, so hopefully that's making sense. And I'm believing it is in Jesus name, because one of the things is that, you know, is that you carry the owner inside of you. Who is the owner? It's the Holy Spirit. So greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Once you get an understanding of what the word is saying for your life you'll understand his will for you oh my gosh guys i'm gonna tell you that wisdom of god is very 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 precious and everything that we need all those things that those desires that you have it's only gonna come through the word of god okay so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to get to work. I got to do some kickboxing. Got to burn some calories. Let me know where you're at today. I want to pray for you. Let me know where you're at. I want to let you know that you have a future. That you're important. That there is no permanent problem. There, There is no permanent problem. The only thing that is permanent is the Lord, guys. Isn't that great news? There's no permanent problem. So... Know that for us being believers, we don't we don't handle things like the world. It shouldn't be any toiling. It shouldn't be any like double mindedness. It shouldn't be unstableness. So again, for those opportunities to maximize our upcoming goals in your life. You have to take inventory, okay? We're going to have to take increase, excuse me, take inventory so to get your increase, okay? So, guys, I leave you today with saying acknowledge the Lord and what you're doing. And he'll direct you. And, and I'm waiting to hear these testimonies, okay? Thanks again for tuning in to Curse the Fig. I'm your girl, Krista. I'll see you tomorrow.